Hi everybody, this is Corey at More Guitars and More Music in Evansville, Indiana. Today I have a gorgeous and very functional ESP LTD D6 six string bass guitar. This is a lot of guitar for the money. It's very well priced. Uh, it comes with a lot of great features that you would find on basses uh, that go over $1,500, $2,000, but in a much more affordable package. This features mahogany body wings. It has a five-piece maple and jatoba neck. Uh, also features a beautiful poplar burl top that is done in a really great uh, almost burst, uh, more like a, what some companies would call a smoke wrap. Uh, gorgeous piece. Also has a roasted jatoba neck. Features 24 frets on this thing and they are extra jumbo frets so plenty of fret uh, for the strings to bite to. Uh, has some really nice enclosed tuners, uh, some ESP designed humbucking pickups, uh, a really nice higher mass bridge. Uh, this thing does have the ability to, to be either top loaded or strung through the body, which I think is a, a really great thing on a, a 34 inch scale. The electronics in this are absolutely fantastic. Uh, features a volume and a blend control to blend between the two pickups. One thing I love about it is that it has a center detent to it so you know exactly when you're when you've got dialed up equal amounts of those pickups that to me is something uh, important also features three band eq it features a bass a mid and a treble control these are also center detented which i love especially on a, a dark bandstand you don't have to worry about uh, figuring out where you're at as far as your eq settings the sounds on this uh, are very modern. Um, it's strung with some round wound, so it's uh, nice and bright right out of the box. Uh, one thing with the, the 9 volt preamp system, you can pretty well get any, uh, any kind of old school sound just using uh, your treble and your mid knob along with your uh, bass control. Uh, to get some different sounds. So let's take a look and a listen to a few of the different sounds. We're going to, I'm going to try to make this as muddy as I possibly can. So I'm going to roll it up to the front pickup. I'm going to roll the bass all the way up and turn the, the mid and the treble all the way down and you can have a listen. Hard to get the growl out of this thing um, completely. So bear in mind that it is a uh, being an active system. It's going to have a, a bit of snarl to it, regardless of where you have have the EQ set. Um, let's take a listen to the back pickup. So we'll roll the blend control all the way to the back pickup. Uh, I'm going to accentuate the the low end. I'm going to turn it up to about. Oh, 70%. I'm going to back the, the mid range off to about 20% and kick the highs up to about 70 or 80%. And we can take a listen to it. Really bright, snappy sound would sound really great slapping and popping. Let's have a listen to that. Lots of functionality inside of this guitar. Very comfortable, uh, thin U neck on it. Uh, doesn't have much neck dive. You would expect a, an instrument with a, a neck this large to, to dive. It does tend to lean down a little bit, but no more than some of my classic uh, 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 bases made by other manufacturers. 
Check this bass out and other basses at moreguitars.com or at More Music in Evansville, Indiana. This is the ESP LTD D6 bass. Thanks, everybody.